so we are back with some more Resident Evil 3. I don't know what happened with my voice there. <laughs> oh, dear gosh. But yes, we're going to continue. We're in the freaking clock tower. We're doing clock things because, you know, we like to rock clock or something like that, I guess. And we're going to see what's going to happen now. I guess it's going to work. Look at this. Ah, oh, yes. So beautiful. But why would it make it so hard to make it like, oh yeah, you're gonna message, well, you know, hit the bell, so we can, you can hit the bell to subscribe. <laughs> uh, but you know, like, you're gonna hit the bell so the helicopter can know, but the cogwheels were literally in like two different places and you need to combine them. Dude, it is so convoluted. I'm happy this is a game, because otherwise it wouldn't make sense. <laughs> I hope. I as assume Nemesis is gonna pop freaking up any moment now. Ah. Uh, uh. I have. Ooh. What's going on? Nice. Ah. Uh, yeah. Saved. Wow. Down here. Ooh, boss. Yeah, you know it's gonna get it's fucking rocked down. Over. Yep. Of course. What the fuck do you expect? You've seen Nimsis running around with a rocket before! I mean, he rocks, I guess, but goddamn! Stars. Stars. So, what am I supposed to do now? Ow! He hand tied me! Wow, he has roll for fire, that's pretty lit. Go, 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 go. What? <laughs> ah! uh, go, go. What, what, Carlos, was it? Ah, oh, that's good. Wow. Is that. Would that actually happen? I mean, I guess he Carl win, you know, because he didn't lose here. Well, for now at least. Oh, well, now he did Carlos. Search. Jesus Christ. Why are you? Why is it always a zombie like this that is so obnoxious to deal with? And I'm, why am I hurt? I mean, he hand tied me a little bit, but come on, man. Carlos, ah, ganges. Yeah, that would help me. Uh oh. <laughs> get up, get up, get up. How about I heal? How is my health? Okay, that doesn't t help. Okay, virus. Okay, what do I do with that? What? what okay, what, what can I do? Oh no. Nay, nay, he hand tied me, that motherfucker! Oh my god. I've seen enough things on the internet to know what. Yeah. Yeah. Nasty. Okay, so I got fucked. Okay, I'm gonna get bigger guns. <clears throat> and we're gonna fuck Nemesis up here. I'm pretty sure that is, that's what we're supposed to do. I'm pretty sure. Let's go. But yeah. Of course we want to get away. It would be too easy if a, if a helicopter could just go in there and uh, pick us up, you know? <laughs> it's like Gandalf and the Eagles in Lord of the Rings. It would be too easy. It wouldn't be an adventure otherwise. What? An easy way out? The only way, easy way out is not to play the game at all. But we're not here to give up. I might give up later on, but for now, I'm not here to give up. And we're gonna see... Okay, let's go... We're gonna go fucking big here. We're gonna. I might as well take the Granada Lanchos. Because. Yeah. We're gonna fuck him up. We're gonna fuck him up. 
do I have anything that can deal with the virus, or am I just gonna get fucked? Can I just cut away the virus? Uh, we're gonna equip this bad boy. I have so many grenade shells, Jesus Christ in heavens. Beautiful ornament. <laughs> so convoluted. Oh well. Man, I'm so snipped, I'm sorry about that. I have like a semi cold or something like that. I might just be allergic to a existing. I'm pretty sure that is why. I feel like that is the most common reason. I'm allergic to existing. It's a fucking pain. I mean, after all, in the end, we live simply so we can die. <laughs> Depressing, but they got it. I can like it like that. But though, it is important how we live, you know? Hopefully, we all can live to our full potential and be the people we want to be. Can I skip this? No, I can't, I think. Oh, yeah, I could. Haha. <laughs> Yay. Okay, here we go. Take two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scary, scary. Scary, scary indeed. Grenade! I want the grenade! I want the grenade! Dude, it's so... It's so rude to just punch someone like that. I'm just saying. What? I can't. Okay. Hey! Haha, <laughs> bitch. I have <laughs> so many grenades. Should I, like. Yeah, he's unconscious, but. Should, should I leave him? Should I go? Oh my god, you're back again? I'm like a fucking in here. <laughs> ah, there. Okay, that's... That's not good? Ah, glorious pixels. Wonderful. I, go away and never come back. But I know you will, because... That's what you're up to. Right. So we did it. Yay! Carlos! Carlos! Uh. Well, that's not good. Oh, yeah. Perfect for zombies to walk by, like, ooh, that's that. Oh, wait. Am I gonna be Carlos now? Jill! Jill! Jill. Oh no. Hey, don't die on me. Aww. Don't die on me. Oh. <sighs> to be young and a in What? <laughs> Dude, that is something you've seen anime like when uh, uh, characters you've been following for like 50 episodes and then one die and the others are like screaming and uh, you just scream with them. Here I'm more like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> okay, this is kind of like a little bit. <laughs> okay, you, you don't need to sound like that. It looks like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? Don't worry, Jill. This chapel hmm? is safe. I've been infected by the virus, oh. haven't I? He oh, fuck. Hey, take it easy. <laughs> I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? Uh, some boy. Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. Uh yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> Oh yeah, don't let the virus... I mean, mentality is of course very important, but what are you gonna do? Like, oh, here's the virus. Like, you get any kind of virus, you're just like, oh yeah, I'm beating it. That's not how it works, you know? 
And when he said, I take care of you, I thought of Shaun of the Dead instantly, you know, in the end there when uh, Shaun had his best friend in the shed as he has turned into a zombie. <laughs> it is kind of like depressing and dark, but it is, yeah, yeah. And old time rider, you can save your progress. Yes, we're gonna save. But yeah, so that's that's what I imagined. Like, oh no, Jill turned into a zombie. I gonna keep her and feed her. <laughs> that's very dark. What are you doing, cat? Take a chill. Oh my dear sweet baby raptors. Okay. Oh my god. He led. Hey, there's another one! Oh my god, they are a bunch of them! Okay, what, 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 what am I supposed to go now, though? I didn't get any kind of, like... ...situation about this, right? Oh, well, I need to go out here first, at least, anyways, but... God damn it, now I'm, now I'm a little bit confused. Oh. Oh no, oh no. Ah, I'll see you guys. Hello there. Have you heard about my lord and savior, Machine Gun? Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Interesting that they they really added more action element in Resident Evil 3 here than compared to like the second game, from from what I remember at least. I haven't played the original Resident Evil 2 in many years now. Oh, that was a long time. But I do remember it, especially the first game. It's not as action heavy, so to speak. I mean, stuff happens, of course, but it is not the uh, you know, you know, so much a you run around and shooting a lot because you you get so limited with ammo. You're trying to conserve it as much as possible. But here is a little bit more like, you know, here is like six zombies in run one go. Have fun, and I'm like, no, I don't have fun. Uh... Oh wait, there is an. Should I go this way? Hmm. I have no idea where I'm gonna go, actually, but... Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Nasty cretins. Though it would be cool to have a spider like that as a mount. I would say. Oh wait, is it the manly time? Oh, it is. Mm, yeah, manly, manly. I'm the strong manly man. Are you gonna put, punch a boulder like Chris do? That is probably one of the weirdest moments in the game series. Probably not the weirdest, but it was pretty funny. <laughs> oh, here's a big boulder. Let's punch it and it flies away like, oh my god. Okay, where are you? Okay, let's see. Do I have a map over this? Okay, we have the hospital and we have the park up there. I feel like I... Whoopsie! I got a little bit scared there because I got a warning that my disk space were kind of limited right now because, well, it's so much shit on it. So I needed to pause and, uh, like you know, delete some files and stuff like that, old uh, recordings and stuff, so it wouldn't vanish. Because uh, that, that happened in the past for me, that I've been recording and then it... the file get fucked because uh, I don't uh, have enough disk space and it is so frustrating. So that, that was what I got a little bit jumped, jump scared by. But now I cleared out some old uh, recordings and stuff like that, so I have space, so I can record and don't worry about it. This doesn't look good at all. You know, as they're looking shutters, I'm actually was more co concerned about the, will the soldier. What the fuck are you doing? 
Oh. <laughs> what was that? Oh. Oh, dude, what the fuck is this for a hemorrhoid with claws? I'm really trying to shoot them? Yeah, they, they sucked. Oh my god. But yeah, in a zombie apocalypse, the hospital would be the last place I would go to because... Yeah, you know, it is the place people generally go to when they, when they are sick and infected. So it's just... Waiting to fucking... Yeah, you know. Turn to a snack. Otherwise I would go to the hospital, you know, if it's for anything else. But uh, when it's for, um, you know, independent zombie apocalypse... Uh, no. No. I would go to my friend instead. He has an... He, he literally have a little bit... Uh, he, he he does mostly because it's, he thinks it's, it's a fun thing for him. Not that he's really like terrified and worried about zombie cop apocalypse stuff like that but he have a, like a little a wardrobe where you have like survival gear and food and stuff like that that can be stored in case because you know he, he he really likes the zombie apocalypse survival guide or what the fuck it's called so he have like stacked up a little thing like that it is a lot of fun but uh, when i think what well, if this could, would happen i would go to him <laughs> He's more prepared than I am. And he's my broski, so I, I want to be... I want to hang out with him. If that's the last thing I do, I want to hang out with him. You're my bro, man. You're my bro. Okay, we're gonna... Oh, man. So you really don't have much, you. you this sucks. So, you mean that the magical box is only limited to, like, one per person? What the fuck, bro? I thought this was gonna be more, like, for everyone. You know, shared or something. Oh. oh, no. Am I gonna get poisoned? Dude, somebody's dead. Oh, what is this? Direct this diary. These patients suffer from gangrene and congestion of their blood at first. Then their mind slowly deteriorates. In the end, there is nothing left of their mind. When that happens, even murse killing seems pointless. After all, they are already dead. This disease is unlike anything I ever witnessed. Once the patient's mind is gone, they become flesh hunger monsters uh, and act like a wild animals are in some type of bloodlust. September 18th, another patient has been admitted to the hospital. He's showing symptoms of the first stage of the disease at this point, but I haven't been able to sleep at all these past few days. I refuse to let these patients become a zombie. I am not just an ordinary citizen, I am a doctor, even if I die. My clinical shots will contribute to finding a cure. September 26th, we lost most of the doctors and staff during the battle against these zombie patients. It is impossible to maintain the hospital under these conditions, and I know that it's too late for me. I'm beginning to feel that same itchy and hungry desire that all of my patients felt. It is too late for me. Aw, oh, dude. Yeah, it is kind of like this, uh, the document, the journal in Resident Evil 1, where you find this, like, this guy that wrote in their diary, and... It gets more and more like deranged, and then it's like, oh, peeling off flesh of their own bodies and others, and then like, Argh. really, I mean, just imagine that it's really just terrifying, you know? Because my grandfather passed away due he had Alzheimer's dementia, and so he 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 literally slowly forget about pretty much everything. He didn't remember us and stuff like that. It was really, really hard. Really painful to see. So I can just imagine, you know, being like this, uh, zombies, uh, in a much faster pace, losing your mind. I mean, you, the, the, the one that is you, you, 
just vanishing slowly. Well, rather quickly, but you know what I mean. Honestly, that is really terrifying. It's not me. Oh, wait, am I supposed to, like, is this, like, voice coded? Ah. Please enter your voice. I feel like this is, like, However, something that is, um, you know, they probably should think about, if this is really important, of course, but it is weird. Oh, well. I gotta go with it. Which floor? Wait on, where did I go? Ah oh well, let's see. Hello. What is up here? God damn it, there's so many rooms here. How am I supposed? Okay, what is this? I have no idea. What am I even doing here? I mean, I assume I'm gonna find a cure because the doctor talked about a cure. Oh yeah, you're not. Man, why are you so? Okay, this is sus. Don't tell me they added in that just to fool with you because you know when they are like. Ah, so that's the game. That's the game. Okay, okay. So you're, you're like, I can't kill you until you're standing up. I've been placed here. So? Huh? Okay. Uh -huh, I'm with you. Yeah, this looks like. Am I supposed to like move this? Eat shit! No! Get away! I'm shooting his ass, literally. I mean, some do like that? The dog's body is holding a slip. The number 5 free. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna write that number down. Cause that's a code for something. Something. Let's see here. 5 free 1. Because I don't trust myself to remember it. Definitely not. Hmm, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh boy. Okay, let's go. Uh, it's locked. The sign reads 402. Okay. Oh my god. Some funny pop up like Markiplier. I give you Mark Wasowski. <laughs> that is pretty fun, actually. But I, I, you, you need to go away. You, you guys don't see this, but it's literally on my screen here. Oh my god, I can't, I can't click right. There we go, there we go. Now everything is back to normal. Sorry about that, guys. Let's go! Whee! Notice, make sure that you return the material to their original position after inspection. Eh? Wait, after inspection? So you have it in different places, then when it's inspection you move it so it's appropriate? Oh, no! what the? Nikolai? No. Oh. still alive? You saw what happened? What's going on? I'm one of the supervisors. That's all you need to know. Wow. Wait! Holy sh- <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Fuck you, Nikolai. <laughs> God damn it. Dude. God damn. Seriously, what the fuck is- he? I mean, it is obviously some umbrella bullshit he's doing. Like, eh, yeah, no, we, we're gonna do something. Supervise him. We're gonna see how effectful these bi- W-O's are. Biological weapon. Origin. Well, I don't remember what the fuck they were called. BOV, maybe even. But yeah, it's bullshit. We'll take sick room key. Oh, that's sick. 
I'm gonna create a soaked in formalin. Oh, that sucks. Oh man. And I guess as soon as someone gets like some clue or something, Nikolai just deals with them, you know? Because that, but you do. Really? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And it's sad. Seriously. He just kills everyone. What the fuck? Hmm. Oh, wait. I see there is an indention there in the floor. Indention? There's something on the floor there. Oh, man. I hope it's magical and it resets when I go out and in the end. The magic of old games. I have the power to reset things. Dude, I wish I could do that in real life. Oh, no, I fucked something up. I go out to the room and back in and the things are back again. <laughs> Ah, oh, that would be great. Yep, there we go. No way. There is two. I wonder if I should... Yeah, I think I'm gonna... Because in the other room, it, it was... Uh... Wait, I can't move this? There we go. Because in other room it was on the other side, so to speak. So maybe it's into this corner then. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Oh, this is so weird. What kind of hospital is this even? Oh yeah, we have some very special medicine and you need to solve a puzzle to even get access to it. And then you need a password. It's locked with a number based lock. <laughs> Five, three, one. Whee! Oh, that was ins that's cold. We you take. So you have vaccine, and then what? I mean, I assume. Oh my! God. Wait, we're gonna fight Nemesis now, aren't we? Or something? I, I can feel it. I can feel it. I have my bad mojo feeling, you know. It's just tingling. It's like a spider sense of unnatural fuckery. <laughs> Which floor will you move to? Should I go there? Uh, because just having the base really won't do much, right? I'm not an. Uh, I, I don't know much about medicine, but I'm pretty sure you. We're gonna need more than that, right? I mean, it's literally like anything, like if you do something and you have the base, it is literally the base of what you're trying to do. Oh shit. It's gonna be monsters here. It's gonna be monsters. Shaft. Mm, I like that. I'm getting shafted. Oh God. Oh, you piece of shit. Please fucking die. You know what? I'm gonna fucking use this. Because I'm, I'm worried. Oh my god. Ha <laughs> ha! Toasted! You like that? I like my hemorrhoids. <laughs> A little bit toasty. Toasty. And we take this. Let's go. Something here, should do. This seal will accomplish the lock and cannot be opened. What? Excuse me. Nani? Huh, that's okay. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh, it's one of the hemorrhoids. 
I assume they are based on the hunter. You know, the... And, you know, in Resident Evil 1, you had the hunters, which was the fast, cloy b bastards. There's no fucking way it will stay there. Umbrella Medical Service, North America Division, Douglas Rover. In order to activate the synthesizer to cultivate the vaccine, please do the following procedures as detailed below. Supply enough energy to the system, set the medium base to the device. When the device is ready, you can start mixing the vaccine medium. Uh, to mix the vaccine, you will need to control the five levers. This will cost two gadgets to increase or decrease. If you adjust two gadgets that they stop at the center, the vaccine medium will then produce... Oh my god. Imagine if it was this way to actually create vaccines and stuff. Electric powers. Will you switch? Yeah, sure. Uh oh. Oh no. I knew it. They want to. Oh my god. They're like battle toads. I don't like that. Symphonies of a medium base can be set here. Okay, so I'm just gonna jam this baby in. Will you operate the synthesizer? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Will you operate the synth? Yes. Hold on. Okay, below? This is so weird. Okay, so the below one will affect mostly the... Oh. Ah, uh, we're not there yet. That sucks. Okay. <sighs> I need to think. I hate it. My brain can't handle it. Ah, it's too strong. Fuck. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, this is so hard. Yeah, we gonna. Let's go above and okay. That was a little bit too much, a little bit too much firepower. Oh my god! Nay. Wait, does it help if I? Oh no, no that didn't help. <laughs> oh my god! Why is this? How? Why is this? How you make make vaccines? It doesn't make sense. That was not right. Oh, dear gods and heavens. This is a very annoying puzzle. Okay, we're gonna do like that, and we're gonna go below. Let's see. How about we do the B one then as well? That didn't go well. Hey. Okay. Okay. Good. Um. <laughs> okay. The second one gives a lot of energy. I don't understand why that affects so much, but uh, it freaking do. So, I think we should pull the B one? And how about the A one as well? Uh, I think we're gonna do that. A gonna be down. And then we can pull this one. It's so close! No, that didn't work. Oh! I got it! Oh my fucking god! Oh! This is so dumb! This is so convoluted! Why is this the way to make vaccines? 
It doesn't make sense. Yes. Should I combine these now? Oh, I did. Whee! And look at these battle toads jumping out now. Because there's no fuck way they won't do that. Yep. Here it is. I fuck. Okay, they look even worse. Well, not worse, but they don't look the same as the hemorrhoids I fought before. So these are the battle toads. And before we fought the hemorrhoids. See? What is supposed to do with that? Hmm. Can I even access that thing? That would be cool. It would be cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we... Oh, man. Toasty. Oh, I got both of them. I'm God. <laughs> I'm Matsuri. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go first floor. We're gonna return back to Jill and inject her with the love juice. So things can't... Oh my god! Just like in the opening! God damn, man! That was a surprise! Holy shit! Oh man, that, that's the thing with zombies as well, you know? They always manage to, like, surprise you. Even if they are slowly limbering towards you, like... Which I think is kind of interesting, and I mean, it adds to the horror factor, you know? And the poor zomboids need some way to catch up to you, you know? Hold on, we're gonna... We're not gonna do that. Hey. There we go. We're gonna combine. Yay! We got full ammo again. And we're gonna save. Cause holy crap. Cause now, we're gonna take a break and I will be back with more Resident Evil 3 Nemesis later on. We got the vaccine, so this is exciting stuff. And see if it works. So, thank you for watching. See you later. And have a continue super great day.